Okrama Media's Policy, I'm Sane Lamini. Joining me today is DA Gauteng Shadow MEC for Health, Jack Bloom, to discuss Gauteng readiness in dealing with fifth wave of COVID cases. Mr. Bloom, you expressed concern uh, that the Gauteng Health Department lacks effective leadership as COVID-19 cases are shooting up. Uh, I know here in Gauteng last night, we were sitting at 10,933 active COVID cases. Can you briefly tell us about your concerns? I'm very concerned that it looks like we're going to experience a fifth wave of COVID infections. Cases have doubled and even tripled over the past week. And and yet the Gauteng Health Department still doesn't have a permanent uh, head of department. Uh, The acting head of department, uh, a second acting head of department, in fact, uh, uh, resigned uh, under mysterious circumstances uh, a month ago. And and we don't have uh, a chief financial officer either. So it's of great concern that uh, the department is still not uh, with top leadership in place. And and, uh, there just seems to be a bit of drift. And then the main problem, of course, is the lack of staff at at hospitals. Uh, We've got vacancies uh, because they haven't been filled. And we've also got lots of new wards that were built for COVID patients, but they don't have staff and they don't have equipment. So uh, if we get a a huge flood of COVID patients, I'm not sure they're going to be able to cope very well. For the benefit of our viewers, Mr. Bloom, can you briefly share why those two posts are important? Well, the head of department is critically important, uh, deals with the entire department, all their activities. And in fact, uh, they haven't had a permanent head since October 2020. That's uh, when the previous head of department, Professor Lukele, uh, resigned because of the scandal associated with the misspending of PPE. Now, mm-hmm. we had uh, one acting head, and then we had a second, second acting head who was appointed in July last year, and she left mysteriously last month. The department hasn't been made it public. I just happen to know because uh, staff at the department are, are very concerned about it. And the mm-hmm. chief financial officer as well, that's now been vacant for for two years, we've, we've got an acting person there and uh, we can't go on like this. You know, it's critical that uh, spending is, is done properly, that we don't have money stolen or, or wasted, which is what's happened in the past. And, and that's why it's so critical that these posts are filled and the other senior posts that are still filled by acting people. Now, the problem with acting people is they don't have the authority. And what you need with a department like the Gauteng Health Department, which really had many years of, 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 of disaster, to be honest. It just seems to be one problem after another. Uh, we need to have uh, good, honest people in place and uh, to fix up the department. Meanwhile, here we are uh, facing an expected fifth wave of COVID cases. And the other problem is we've got a huge backlog of, of uh, operations, surgery, because uh, you know patients, uh, some wait for years for, for, for surgery. And now if we get another another wave of COVID cases, they'll have to wait longer. So I, I think we're in a crisis stage. And uh, if you go to any hospital in Gauteng, they'll tell you that they're short of staff, uh, often short of equipment, and, and uh, they don't have bed for patients. So uh, we still have the Schadenknecht at Johannesburg Hospital partially closed, and that's catastrophic uh, as well. You also highlighted in your statement the issue of acute shortages of staff as the main problem in treating COVID patients. Do you have suggestions on how this could be addressed? Well, you know, you still hear of unemployed doctors and unemployed nurses. I don't know why they aren't rushing to employ them. Uh, every single hospital in the province would tell you that they, they desperately need new people, and, and yet we have uh, vacancies. It's just inexplicable. Uh, for some strange reason, we also still spend money on, on Cuban doctors when we have unemployed local doctors. So I, I really think that we need to have crisis management, uh, that, in fact, the department has to be fixed up once and for all. And unfortunately, uh, it seems that the COVID epidemic is still with us. And uh, hopefully we can cope with this fifth wave. Uh, you know, a lot of people are vaccinated. There's a lot of immunity from prior infections. So we hope that it's, it's not as serious as the previous waves. But, uh, um, you know, as I said before, 
uh, there are massive backlogs of operations. My estimate is probably about 20,000 people waiting for operations. Uh, a lot of them are cataract operations, so people who can't see, uh, people waiting years for hip and, and knee operations. So there's a lot of suffering there, very much so. And, and I think that uh, we can't fix this department until we get the right people in the right jobs, honest, competent people, instead of the disaster that we've had for the last 10 years, in fact. No, nothing at the department seems to have gone right for many, many years. You are blaming uh, Gauteng Premier David Makura. You said in your statement that he has failed to appoint competent and honest top managers. What would you like to see in, in Gauteng, uh, Mr. Plum? Well, you know, the Premier has to take accountability for this. Eight years ago, when he first became Premier, he said that he was looking for a, quote, urgent turnaround of the Gauteng Health Department. Now, you know, we haven't seen any such thing, and he's the one who appoints the MEC, and he's the one who appoints the head of department. So why does he start with appointing, uh, you know, a competent, honest uh, head of department of the Gauteng Health Department? It's now been, you know, one and a half years since uh, the previous incumbent resigned uh, and and it's about time that we put the right people in place uh, we can't go on like this you know this department every year the auditor general says terrible things about wastage of money and misspending and scandal after scandal and who, who are the victims at the end of the day it's it's patients i have to tell you every day i get a call from a patient from one hospital or another and they tell me terrible stories and i think lives are being lost there's a lot of suffering people uh, waiting years for operations, uh, and now we have a COVID wave. So we, we don't know the severity of this COVID wave, but it's going to put extra pressure on all our hospitals. And I, I don't think we can uh, save uh, lives uh, to the degree that we are able to if, uh, if we have all these staff shortages and, and this tragedy of, of empty wards without staff or equipment all over the province. And lastly, Mr. Bloom, what can you now say to the public who may have let their gut down uh, since the relaxation of the COVID restrictions as we see now that the infections are rising again? Well, look, the problem is we're going into winter and uh, this is the period where people are crowded indoors. And I'd really have to say, you know, ventilation is critical. Make sure that there are windows, try and keep distance from other people, especially indoors. And and, and wear a mask. Uh, I don't think people should let their guard down, especially, uh, you know, vulnerable people, elderly people. And, 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 and most of all, get vaccinated. Uh, if you've had your two vaccinations, get the booster, make sure that you're up to date. And I think, um, you know, that's what we should all be doing. Uh, the problem is in Gauteng is that uh, vaccinations have also lagged. I think particularly people over 60 should ensure they're vaccinated, but younger people as well. So uh, take care. Uh, all the precautions you can, get vaccinated if you're not already vaccinated. And hopefully this, this wave isn't as severe as the previous ones. There was Jack Bloom in conversation with Polity about the possibility of the fifth wave of COVID cases in Gauteng.